Hey guys, it's Lydia if you're new here, hi, welcome to my channel, and if you're not, then welcome back to another one of my videos. And in today's video, this is going to be a little different, this is going to be more of a podcast style sit down type. I thought what better way to end, but also start the year. If you guys have seen the TikTok trend, ins and outs for 2024, I thought this would be a great way to start this year. Kind of just like discussing what I'm going to be working on, some things that I learned from the past year. And this is going to hold me accountable, hopefully this gives you guys some inspiration, or some things to add to your New Year's resolution or bucket list for this year let's just get right into it make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i post new videos every wednesday and saturday one of my biggest ins for this year is getting back into the content that i started making at the beginning that is the whole reason why i started my channel at the end of this year i kind of stopped vlogging i kind of stopped working out and prioritizing fitness and i wasn't as consistent but that is probably my number one for this year is like consistency like my ins for this year consistency is up there with number one literally it's like the most important thing like if you want something you need to be consistent with it you need to work towards it that is my number one so we're gonna start with ins because i feel like it's more of like a positive number two is the 75 hard challenge now i know workout challenges and stuff can become really toxic depending on the mindset associated with them i find when i'm super strict with myself it doesn't motivate me but you also need to be hard enough on yourself that like you're gonna actually stay and not slack off and not let yourself like give up on it almost. I'm starting 75 hard challenge. Now I am gonna adapt it a little bit to what I actually need. And this is like the biggest thing I would recommend. If you guys are starting a challenge, adapt it to your lifestyle and make it something that you can actually stick to. If you need to change it a little here and there just to fit in, like it's better than not doing it at all or just like completely failing, giving up and just saying, screw it, I'm not doing it. For my 75 hard, the rules are read 10 pages every single day, two workouts, 45 minutes, one outdoor, one indoor, take a progress pick every day no cheat meals if you stop doing it one day you need to completely restart i'm gonna do the two workouts a day however it snows here in canada so i'm gonna count an inside workout as a workout as well and a work shift will also count as a workout for me and i'm gonna completely cut out drinking as one of my rules so that is like a big in this year is no drinking like i'm just done with that that is my rules for 75 hard and i'm including that in this video to hold myself accountable so i will check in with you guys march 17th to see how i'm doing and i'll do a whole updated video on that as well i actually started today so another in just workouts in general i really want to get back into my routine i want to get strong i want to go for outside walks and start waking up earlier with the holidays and stuff i feel like everyone's routine's been really thrown off and everyone's like super tired but waking up early always makes me feel good it makes me feel so productive so i want that to be an in prioritizing self-care journaling so like getting my nails done hair done that always makes me feel better during the summer i was really good for reading every single night and i want to get back into reading every night and stop scrolling another in is girls nights in instead of girls nights out now we're gonna switch and we're gonna talk about the outs because the outs are probably more important these are just the habits that i do not want to carry into the new year that is spending money based on trends i really did get caught up on some of the trendy things this year and i spent a lot of money that i would much rather have invested in myself put towards things that i actually want myself and not just because they're trending my party era that's gotta go i don't need to say anything else took over my youtube took over a lot of things that I don't regret, but I definitely need to not take that into 2024. Along with mindless scrolling, I found instead of reading at night, I really did get sucked into scrolling on TikTok. That also leads to just self-comparison and like takes away confidence, I find. Well, at least it did for me. Another out is procrastinating everything, school, YouTube, everything, working out. Another out is not just going for it. If you're gonna take anything away from this video, go for it this year. Like make 2024 your year, go for it. If you fail, at least you tried. Nothing is worse than not going for it and never knowing if you would have succeeded or not. My biggest one is burnout. I pushed myself 
to burn out so hard and I want to not feel guilty about allowing myself rest this year. I don't know what the issue is where guilt and rest is like so associated together, at least for me, but I want to not push myself to the burnout stage and actually like allow myself to rest without feeling guilty or like I'm not being productive. But there is that line between lazy and actually needing rest. And then I wrote down like a couple things that I really learned this year and that were some of my biggest takeaways. First of all, something I realized that you just need to have a goal that you're working towards or I find you that's where you like lack motivation or at least for me and I found like anytime I didn't have a certain goal I was striving for or like a plan on what I wanted I'd sleep in later I would just go out and party because I was like okay like I have nothing I need to do but like having something you know that you're working towards so good for motivation and it gives such a sense of achievement I don't know it just like makes me overall so much happier make your new year's resolutions and anytime you're feeling like lost uncertain just look at what you're working towards and it'll just give you so much clarity on like what you need to be doing there's always something you can be doing to help you get closer to your goal I also realized that like good friends are better than having a lot of friends I really focused on and connections and friendships this year and yeah I maybe wasn't as productive as I could have been but I would not change any of the memories I made or any of the friendships I made for that if that makes sense with that I saw this thing where it's like you can't be focusing on every single aspect equally all at once so if you're really focused on your career, maybe your connections and friendships like take a step back or maybe if you're really focused on traveling and having fun and living in the moment, then your career and your fitness might take a little step back. Just giving yourself grace and re really realizing like, okay, what aspect do I want to pour the most into right now? That is something I realize I really prioritize my connections but I'm ready to like switch up this year and focus in on something else. And it's okay if you don't have 100% in every single category all at once. And that's probably the biggest takeaway I took from this year is just that mindset. I learned this year that I really actually like loved the people I worked with and I had so much fun and like I enjoyed showing up every single day and I didn't think that was possible to really love your job. So I learned that you, you do not have to hate your job. It's okay to like switch up if you're not happy. You do not need to be unhappy in the place you're at. Also that it's never too late to start or go for something new. Another one of my goals this year is to start a podcast. I just have been putting it off because I'm like, oh, I should have just started months ago, but like it's not too late to go for it. Lastly, my biggest thing was my favorite quote ever and I just feel like it's a good way to end this video is to just every day do it for your future self. If you start now, in a year your future you will thank you. Well that is going to be it for this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday and I'm going to really be getting back into my lifestyle, fashion, and fitness content this year so you don't want to miss out. I'll see you in my next video. Hi.